Welcome back to DXB Today, where it's all about finding your tribe. And one of the best ways to make friends in any new city is to do the activities you love doing. And on that note, we would like to welcome the co-chair of Dubai Drama Group, Kieran Hillier. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you very much for having me. So I think I can guess, but why don't you tell us what Dubai Drama Group is? <laughs> so Dubai Drama Group is... a drama is, group in Dubai? It's a drama group okay. in Dubai. Right. But it is Dubai's oldest drama group. So we've been around since 1984. So is anyone older than 40 here? Oh, I just turned 40. There you go. I'm going to turn 40. So um, it's my age, but uh, we do two to three full length productions each year, but we run on a modeling uh, model. So our members join um, for a year and pay a 100 dirham membership fee. And so we have our productions, but we also have workshops that are held monthly that they can attend to for free. Is this open to all or do you actually have to have some have audition asking for a friend totally open to all so we do target um working with actors who are 16 years and older uh, but in terms of anyone wanting to get involved uh, either on stage or backstage then part of our goal is to mentor people so if someone's interested in directing for the first time for example then we will pair them up with one of our directors who has more experience so that they can be coaching them on that process but we've got a showcase coming up and so the goal was to enable anyone who applied will be given the opportunity to perform so little unknown secret up until 18 years old I studied drama ah. and so it got me in front of people and got me really comfortable like talking to people and I think that's one of the skills that I've been able to transfer into my friends your friends is that breaking the ice right what would you say a Dubai drama group is some of the most transferable skills that people are taking away after their time with you Ooh, ooh, good question um, so I'd say it is being comfortable talking with people um, social as a psychologist I know that social anxiety is like very common amongst people and so being comfortable performing and being comfortable making mistakes, knowing that, okay, if something were to go wrong, I can improvise and I can correct course and it won't be a problem. So I think that's very helpful for people. But I think also it is, and we talked about networking before, it's always interesting to see the variety of people who are interested in theatre. Mm -hmm. And so you get to meet such a diverse community of people. And so that in and of itself gives you the opportunity to meet people that you probably would have otherwise never met in your professional context um, or through your existing friendships or something. So I think that opens you up to a whole range of other opportunities as well. I like that because I also did theater when I was um, studying in the university. Look at I you. Minor oh, I can see <laughs> how he's acting. Big yeah. time. <laughs> I wanted to ask, does a person have to have a theater background or is it can someone just go without any theater background and be like, you know what, I want to try it out? Yeah, without any theater background. So we cater to, we've got people who, this has always been this sort of secret passion that they've wanted to explore but never had really an opportunity to do so or haven't felt like they've had the time mm -hmm. and then we've got people who are professionally trained and this might have been their day-to-day -day job in their home country but Dubai has brought them over for different reasons and so they engage in it purely for the love of it because everything we do is on a volunteer basis so I'm on the committee but we all have our day jobs as well and so we do this out of love for it so we want to give people the chance to explore this because it might be oh i really want to delve more into this and so that. then we tell them about um, training opportunities so we do a lot of partnerships um, and advocate for the other people within the theater community here because dubai drama group we're the oldest but we're certainly not the only theater group so i always make a point to let everybody who contacts us to know about well here's all these other theater groups that you should be following mm -hmm. and keeping track of when they're having auditions or having events or doing performances that you want to go and see um, so that they can see all of the different options that are out there. I feel like I should say at this point that I also used to do theatre as well. Uh, <laughs> and I, actually I did everybody either. Oh, look at all of us. Everyone had theater. some sort of acting class or something, right? But I actually <laughs> did want to get back into it. Oh, and brilliant. I did contact one of these other theatre groups. Mm -hmm. And there was an audition process and there were lots of rehearsals. And yes. it was about six months. It was quite intense. Mm -hmm. We have very unflexible schedules. Right. But with you guys, is it possible for someone who doesn't really have a flexible schedule, mm -hmm. can't commit to rehearsals, to just be involved in that that life without having to commit mm -hmm. to a full season? <laughs> that just wants to show up yes, once a month. Yes, certainly. <laughs> um, well, I'll show up when I can. <laughs> 
And I think our acting showcase, which we're going to be doing in March, is a nice example of that. So this is when people get to sign up to do a monologue, so perform on their own, or a duologue where they're performing okay, with one nice. other person. And we pair them up with one of our directors. So they're meeting up with their directors, say, weekly, um, as per their availability. And then the, the rest of the week, it's an expectation that they will be putting in the work to get that ready to go. And so it's kind of a low commitment entry point for people to then see if this is something I really enjoy. Otherwise, we have people who might get involved backstage. So if you're interested in understanding how the lighting works mm. or sound design, we have people who their background is in graphic design. So then they might volunteer to develop like the poster um, and the artwork for our productions. Uh, we have people who can connect us up with media opportunities so we can spread the word. So it's also utilizing and leveraging off the skill set that exists in our community in order to further our outreach and to give people opportunities at a range of different points depending on their skill set their interests and their availability to still get involved because then it might be later they do have um, a more of an opportunity to get involved and now they've got a sense of how we work right. Amazing. Well, I'll do it then yes please do <laughs> Kieran, thank you so much. We thank can sit here and talk forever oh, about please, theater, yes. but thank you so much for thank joining us today. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. And now, Dina, you've got DXB in 60 right now. I do, I do, I do. Raj, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so in case anyone doesn't know about this, uh, we've got a bunch of questions. We're going to ask Raj, DXB in 60. We're going to cue the clock, try to answer as many as you can. Okay. And feel free to skip one if you're not sure if you have an answer. Sure. Gotcha. Okay, and go. If you weren't an entrepreneur, you had to actually work for someone, what would you be doing? I have no idea because I can't even imagine that life. But what I can tell you is that my career advisor said that if everything goes wrong in your life, just sell. Because she felt like I've got a natural gift for selling. Well, that brings me to my second question. Your motto in life and work. My motto in life and work, unfortunately, is easy to find, tough to catch. I've built this brand online where I'm a very easy guy to find on the internet. You just search Raj Katech or anyone, any platform. But getting into my schedule and getting that Zoom or that coffee is the, is the hard bit. Well, I feel honored we made our way in. Um, your most used app on your phone? Oh, without a doubt, it's Instagram. I think the number one hack to get in contact with me as a segue is if you send me a under one minute voice note on Instagram, I'm disproportionately much more likely to message you back on there. I've got birthday messages on my WhatsApp going back to 2019. Oh, but DMs I come straight back to. You can't send more than a minute on Instagram. Hence. <laughs> this is somehow turned into a discussion. So I am just going to ask you one last question since we've uh, wrapped our time. But um, if, why Dubai? I feel like it's our favorite question to ask. I just feel like if you hug Dubai, it hugs you back so, so hard and so warm. Like the return on your time and contributing to the society that is Dubai is just incredible. As I mentioned, I've done it in New York, London, Toronto, but nothing like this city. It is the best. Raj, totally thank you biased. so much for being our guest co-host today. You've been brilliant. And I'll see you at My Friends Your, fr uh, My Friends, Your Friends. Yep, Wednesday 21st at Media One Hotel. And Kieran, you've been wonderful as well. I'll see you at Dubai <laughs> Drama Yes, Group. thank you very much. You're networking Amazing. like crazy look today, at us. <laughs> look at us making friends. He's, he's so learned a thing or two. the point of the show. <laughs> uh, right now, it is time for us to take a little break. But after that, we are going to be hearing from our performer, Jasus Zane. And we've got prizes, prizes, prizes. You don't want to miss it. It's DXB Today.